Hello, and welcome to my video on Orientalism. So first off, what is Orientalism? It's a form of racism because Orientalism depicts Oriental cultures and people in generalized ways that are usually violent, overly sexualized, mystical, etc. In Edward Said's book, Orientalism, he says the Orient was almost a European invention, and it is one of Europe's deepest and most reoccurring images of the other. Now, I took an Asian American history course last spring, and we did discuss the history of Orientalism. It's not until Marco Polo wrote his account of Asia that things start to sound very much like what we can see in Orientalism today. He claimed that Asia was composed of chaste women and diabolical men. I don't know where or how or why this sudden switch came up about, but this sounds very similar to some versions of Oriental portrayals today. So how do you advertise an Asian character or story to Westerners. You use what they're familiar with so as to not alienate them. Thus, the stereotypical Orientalism-steeped groups arrive. Guys are fitted into four categories. The old martial artist, the monk or other spiritual figure, the antagonist or antagonist assassin slash bodyguards, ninja, and the side protagonist who tends to die and or has no love interest hinted at whatsoever. Some examples of this are The Hand in Daredevil, Karate Kid, and Doctor Strange. Girls usually fit into three categories. The Tiger Mom, the Heartless Sexy Dragon Lady, and the Love Interest who is quite likely to die in the end. A common theme amongst them all, though, is that they usually have some stereotypical Oriental accent name, and sometimes lacks a complete understanding of how Western culture works. And if they're not a bad guy, they're there to help the white protagonist. What I'm trying to get at is that all of this is part of Orientalism. It, it is the depiction of Asians as the mysterious and spiritual outsider, as the physical manifestation of yellow peril, and as the sexualized yet chaste person who cannot be with the Westerner. Why? Because they don't belong. Because they are, as Saeed put it, the other.